Like all my sign creations, this one really starts with a blank screen. The client uh, just bought a new home and they're looking to have a large house sign made specifically for them. They live on Chiquita Lane, which most people think has something to do with bananas, but it's actually named after Mount Chiquita, a 13,075 foot summit in Rocky Mountain National Park. Anyway, they wanted a, a sign that had the house number on it, street. They didn't want their last name on there, but they wanted it to have some type of a welcome. In addition, uh, they loved bears, so they wanted some graphic with a bear included in their sign. So here's the journey that uh, took us from beginning to, to the end. Uh, first, I'll just kind of spoil it and show you a little bit of what the finish sign looked like. So here's the finish sign, just to kind of show you uh, where we're going to in this little journey. So I'm going to take a, make a short video here to show you the process we went through to uh, design uh, the sign and end up with, with the results that you see here. The blank screen you see here is from my design software, which is used basically to lay out my signs before I cut them on the uh, CNC machine. Um, you'll see that um, we'll be able to uh, create some graphics, be able to provide them to the client really quickly, um, and get their approval on it before we even cut the first piece of wood. So I've laid out the design here, as you can see. Uh, I can customize the font and the size of the text and uh, manipulate the text as you can see here on this screen. The next thing I'm going to do is add some graphics. So I have an extensive amount of graphics. Here I grabbed a couple of uh, outlines of some bears. I faced them towards the uh, middle of the sign. And uh, next thing we're going to do is render this view into some wood. And let me show you how that works. So here we are with our plank wood image on our 3D view. First thing we're going to do is lay out the tool paths. As you can see here, it's kind of a rudimentary path that the tool bit will take as it carves into the wood. We can simulate that. Uh, I'll set this up while I'm talking here. So it's going to start out here uh, with a V bit cutting the text, as you can see here. It's just a simulation of what the router bit is doing with the wood. I can speed this up and show you the entire process. The router perfectly lays out the design. That's into the wood and shows you exactly what this creation is going to look like before we actually cut our first piece of wood. I can uh, take this uh, image that we've created here. And I'll clean up some of these waste pieces that we'll get rid of. And um, as you can see here, I have a nice design that I can send off to the client, have them take a look at it, approve it, or make some suggestions for some changes, go back, redo another round, and basically get to the point where the client is perfectly happy with everything they see here. The next step is for us to hand select the wood. I hand selected this pine piece because of its unique wood grain appearance. It'll be plain, sanded, sealed, and a paint mask will be added prior to being cut on the CNC machine. The CNC machine is a highly accurate computer numerical controlled device that drives our cutting tool across the wood sign. Here you can see the router in real time cutting the um, welcome part of the text into the sign. And here we're finishing up the left side bear, and soon we'll be moving to start the graphic on the, uh, on the right side as well. So here's the sign right off of the CNC machine. The blue film that you see on top is a paint mask that we've carved through. We'll then hand paint the sign, we'll seal it again, after it's dried, we'll remove the paint mask, sand it multiple times to a fine cabinet finish. Several coats of spar urethane are added to the sign with sanding in between. This provides a durable protection against the Colorado weather. So there's a behind the scene look at how we custom design, build, and finish our signs. Thanks for watching.